to the channel today I have a very quick video for you guys I'm actually gonna be setting up heavenly stroller we're gonna be talking about this particular stroller or travel system um, today which is the even flow pivot expand modular travel system now when my husband and I were trying to decide which stroller to pick up as first-time parents who are super confused there are so many options on the market and landing on one versus the other it's truly just based on factors based on your family we ended up going with this particular travel system because for one we want to have more children in the future and this particular travel system expands to hold two babies at the same time and so we thought value wise that this was a very good option um, and then just the variety of ways in which this stroller can potentially meet your needs. You know, you can turn it back, front, turn the baby side, down, have the two strollers. And we just overall like the, the feel of the stroller. Like when we went in the store, when while we were rolling it, it felt very sturdy. We liked the look of it. It had a cup holder. Little things like that just made us fall in love with this particular travel system now i have been using the cassette and so i can already talk to you a little bit about the cassette before we get into setting up the base and trying on different variations guys this is the cassette and i'm giving you full view of what it looks like this particular stroller guys is very very steady. that was one of the major um factors for us we wanted something that had very good quality for the price point um, it comes with a newborn insert. This is already out because Heavenly has outgrown this. And so right now, she's just been placed directly in the cassette. Now, we used the newborn insert for about the first two months. I will say that on average, parents, you might be using the newborn insert just for the first month. Heavenly was born premature and so she was smaller. And so we used it a little bit longer than, I guess, average. If you want to adjust the cassette, very simple. So you lift up the little sleeve right here and you press the button here and it just, and pull on, tug on this. Once you pull on this, it will adjust. So it has a little pull here to show you how much rope you have left. But at the back of the cassette is where you can make further adjustments. Like you could lift this up and put it in to different levers and so when she was a bit smaller we had a kind of in the second then she, she went to the third and now she's right to the top in the fourth one right there this is basically how far along the straps are going to fall on your baby's shoulder so it's very simple very simple cassette you just basically take this and you pass it through here the little slot here you take it out and then you bring it whether you want it to go lower upper higher whatever the case may be and then you put it right back here. This is the sewing here. Stops the silver buckle from letting loose and keeps the baby secure. So that's basically it, guys. I'm not giving like a whole rundown on how to safely put your child into a car seat. I would say to read the instructions. Read the instruction manual to ensure that you're strapping your baby in securely. They have instructions all within the car seat. Ensure that you're following the instructions. Baby is not supposed to be rear facing. All these are the things. This particular cassette is side tested impact. I guess all these things are pretty standard, guys. But I would say so far, using this, we have had we have not had any issues. Heavenly sleeps in this cassette as soon as we put her in it. Um, she obviously is fussy at first, but she falls asleep in it, no issues. And so so far, I can't say anything about this cassette that I, I particularly don't like. I've not had any um issues. It is it is quite light. <laughs> but obviously with a baby it gets heavier but I like the flow of it I like the feel of it it has a little the hood comes up like this and that's basically the even flow cassette guys comes in pretty deep if you can see and it goes back down and this is pretty sturdy it doesn't feel cheap it doesn't feel light it feels like very good quality we'll go along to the rest of the stroller now as i told you this particular stroller goes from a single to a double there is no extra parts to do that it's just clippings clip on so we're gonna 
go through all that today and test that out. The toddler seat goes up to 55 pounds. The car seat goes up to 35 pounds if you're wondering, but I guess all that is pretty standard. Um, so let's get into this box. I this is this is the toddler seat for sure. It kind of looks like the car seat. The material again is pretty sturdy. Um, it's clean. I don't know how this goes from up to down. Oh, you just press this. Yes, there's a button here, guys, and you could hear the tick. And on the other side as well, and it allows you to shift this particular toddler seat to different levels. Without even reading the instructions, I can already tell how to shift this by just playing it with it a little wrong. So you see it going to the different levels. Um, and now it's like straight. So that's basically it, the toddler seat. And again, if you want to adjust the foot, all you do is press on the two ends right here and that basically goes down to different levels okay so guys i've taken out everything from the box sorry that you guys are not seeing my face my camera is not a wide angle lens camera so i'm working with what i have so this is basically the base of the stroller right here and the wheels came separate Okay guys, so then you unlock the side frame, which I hope that you guys can see here, right down here on the side here, is what they're talking about. So you just go ahead and you unhook this, just like that, and this comes open. Just like this. So we are now at the base, obviously without wheels. So this is going to go down like this, but I'm going to put up the wheels. Okay guys, so the smaller wheels go to the front and the larger wheel goes to the back. So I will show you the difference between. So I'll just show you quickly. So this is the size of the wheels guys. You can clearly see that this one's larger than this one. So this one basically goes to the front and then the larger one to the back. You take the wheel and you just clip it. It's so simple. It's literally inside already. Um, I don't know how to take off the wheel. But there's like a silver little part underneath the big circle that the wheel is entering. You just press that in and the wheel comes right off. But to put it in, it's simple like that. You just push it in. There's nothing to it more than that. So simple, so, so simple. For the front, and I guess you could see a better view. You do the same thing, you just take this. That's so simple, guys. Okay, so this is the base of the stroller, and we have everything set up as the base. Okay, I'm gonna start with the car seat because the car seat is really the base that I'm using first. This is basically the adjuster right here. You just press on the little gray part and it moves. That's the second level right there. So I'm gonna move it up here. I thought it would stay up in this level here, but it has to go back down a little bit. It's not staying right up there. I wish it would stay higher up here, but it goes to a, to the middle button. On the sides where it says even flow, that's where you basically clip it in. And I'm sure you heard that clip. This is what it looks like, guys. Obviously, to adjust the arms of the Pass it, you use these little buttons on the side where there is marked even flow and it will adjust this because 
in the car it needs to be in the second position that's for canada laws i think america is the third or the first i can't remember and then you push this back down when the baby's in there and oh, hi baby and so yeah guys this is what it looks like so you lift on the car seat just to ensure that it's secured properly. To remove the car seat, you basically use this at the back here. This at the back here. You basically use the same lever that you would use when putting the car seat in the vehicle. So you pull on this right here and you lift the car seat off the base like this. To put it back very simple it straps on like you just make sure the even flow lines up and it will sink down yeah that's basically it guys also go forward facing obviously when your baby is uh, still pretty young you're gonna have them facing you but this is it facing forward this is it facing forward Okay, guys, so when your baby is much bigger, you then move on to the toddler seat, which looks like this. And to get in, this one's pretty easy as well. It's just a clip. Look at how easy that was, guys. That was quite easy, guys. And to remove it, you just press this little circle on the side here. You just press these two circles on the side here and the seat comes up how easy is that and then you just push this back in and this clips in so easy guys very very simple um as i told you already to adjust the legs is the same button on the side here you just pull it up and adjust again it's kind of a little bit annoying that it's you have to use kind of both your hand to do it. But what you do is press one and then the other kind of stays. This is what you do. You click both of them and then it becomes like this. So this closes like so. You could watch the baby through here because this is a netted version here. Right here is a net. I'm not sure if you can see it. I hope the camera is picking it up. But this is a net. And you could just beep right in and watch your baby so you could close this back down the seat can also recline in different position right now it's seated up so if you want to put it down in a lower position you just lift on this right here how easy is that guys there's this let me show you there's this gray part at the back here you just lift this up and you recline you recline at different levels so right now we're kind of like sliding down kind of position it could go further back down to be in a complete bassinet situation if you're walking in the park and you're just walking your baby child sleeping remember this could also go down it doesn't have to stay like this it could be like this so this adjusting in three different ways whichever way you want you pull up the lever, it comes up another level again. You pull up the lever, it goes to this position. This is another position. So it's not fully down and then up again will be more in an upright seated position. So guys, I find this very simple, very, very simple. And I'm all here for simple. This is a handbar. You just click it in again. Everything's like clicks clicks and you're good to go to take off the handlebar you just press on the sides here and pull it out so simple when you have <laughs> baby crying you need simple yeah you really need simple so you could remove the toddler seat and you could turn it to face you you could turn the toddler seat to face you so for example in the position that we were just speaking about like if the baby is sleeping Third position, like this way, it's facing you. You could watch your baby. Hi, oh, another baby. No, 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 no. Play with your child. All is well. Okay. 
and if you want to put this a little further down remember all you do is you adjust the gray pads down here and you put it down but you need to do that before you can't do that while the baby is obviously sitting in there so i'm gonna remove this and we're gonna look at how this stroller turns into a double stroller so right now we have the connectors at the top here and there are connectors at the bottom guys click on this gray pad here and this opens up and you will see that you have two more connectors at the bottom so we're gonna put the toddler seat at the bottom here again remember to connect the toddler seat all you need to do is just place this inside of this and it clicks there's really nothing to it i'm gonna put it in a sitting upright position because right now it's a bit don't make sense and then the car seat we're gonna put it facing the mother and just like that guys you have a you have a double stroller you have your toddler at the bottom and you have the baby on top now this could go in multiple variations meaning that you could turn this to face the front you could turn this to face the back it really doesn't matter both babies could be facing back both babies could be facing forward you know i could put this a little bit more like with the toddler seat though the car seat must be in the top position because of the because of the toddler seat there isn't any adjusting for that but guys there you have it and this is the reason why we went with the even flow i could turn this handle upright guys this has a very course this has a very nice feel to it guys you could turn this up you could turn this up more you could turn it back down if you want to be this way i kind of like this way weird enough maybe as because, maybe because i'm tall um that's why i like it this way but guys i can't wait to use this stroller i really really like this stroller guys i like the feel of it it's very sturdy it's not as heavy and and it's just it's easy to set up I, I basically went through this and I showed you everything so I hope it's not giving you too much of a hassle when you're setting yours up only have a single stroller you remove you remove the toddler seat down here and to close this you simply press this and it goes inside and you have a very large storage space down here guys so you could put your baby bag you could put everything that you need at the bottom of the stroller here and i showed you the different ways that you could use it with the car seat okay guys the only thing i think i did not show you was the cup holder i think i forgot the cup holder but it came with a cup holder which basically goes here and that is it for the even flow stroller guys I will actually be testing out the stroller tomorrow because baby girl is going to get her ears pierced. We're going to um, get her ears pierced tomorrow, guys. I am extremely excited, but I'm also very, very nervous because the first time she got her shot, like her first vaccine, I cried. So I'm not expecting this time to be any different. I will be vlogging the day. Um, I will be trying to vlog the day, guys. It's actually very, very difficult because we have a lot of snow, guys. We have a lot of snow on the ground. I was going to film like the first snowfall, but to be quite honest, I was just so irritated by the fact that we had so much snow in October. Like, it, I was just not here for it. I'll show you a little clip of just sitting down next to, just there in my backyard, guys, like to see the amount of snow. It is seriously a lot of snow. Like, what is that? We're literally in early november we should not have we should not be having snow like seriously but i really do hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you're setting up your even flow um travel system i hope that this video was helpful to you if it was please leave your girl a comment down below and let me know that this video was really helpful to you i hope that you enjoy your your, your show of your your little one i want to see how this is like 
tomorrow when we actually have to test it out in public guys it's gonna be really fun but you will see that on the next vlog so you want to ensure that you hit that subscribe button turn on your post notification guys what are you doing for yourselves come on guys hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications your girls literally trying to give you back-to-back -back content so i really hope that you're grateful for that thank you guys so much for watching catch you on the next one